We're going to start our hearing today, the City Council's Parks Committee. I'm pleased that we have been joined by three stalwart committee members, Councilmember Andy Cohen from the Bronx, Councilmember Alan Maisel from Brooklyn, and Councilmember Mark Traeger from Brooklyn. We are going to be considering today our semi-annual package of ceremonial street co-naming. Uh, we do this twice a year. We are considering 70 thoroughfares and public places uh, today. A few notable co-namings include uh, names after fallen first responders like police officer Kelly Korchak and firefighters Dennis Heedles and Roy Smith who died as a result of 9-11 related illnesses. Other notables include New Yorkers who dedicated much of their lives to other acts of community service such as former Queensboro President Helen Marshall and Lorraine Montenegro, a longtime community activist in the Bronx who tragically died in the aftermath of Hurricane Maria while in Puerto Rico. I will be voting in support of this legislation and urge all of my fellow committee members to do the same. And I would like to uh, acknowledge that we've been joined by our colleague, Councilmember Darlene Mealy from Brooklyn. Welcome. And I'm going to ask our committee clerk, Billy Martin, to call the roll call for the vote. Roll call vote, Committee on Parks and Recreation, pre-considered introduction, Chair Levine. I vote aye. Mealy. I vote aye. Cohen. I vote aye. Mizell. Aye. Traeger. Vote aye. By vote of five in the affirmative, zero on the negative, and no abstention, item has been adopted by the committee. All right, and uh, we'll, we'll keep the vote open. We're expecting one or two more colleagues to join us. Thank you all. I would like to acknowledge my colleague from Brooklyn, Mark Traeger, who has a comment. Thank you so much, Chair. I truly appreciate uh, y your leadership on this and also the very helpful staff uh, that helped make this happen. Uh, we have a, a number of, of street renamings uh, in my district that I just want to just uh, note for the record. Um, the Association of the Cajunese at the America Way, which is an organization that uh, uh, is based in my community that uh, originally is rooted in Italy and they have done fantastic work uh, organizing uh, fundraising campaigns to award scholarships to uh, high school seniors for college. They provide support to charitable organizations including the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation and direct uh, support to many families that are needed in my community and uh, this is definitely a way to uh, pay respect and homage to, to the great uh, contributions of the Italian American community uh, in New York. Uh, also, another street renaming is after uh, Pastor uh, Quillis, uh, who was affectionately called the Pastor of Coney Island. Uh, he was born in um, Mayagas, Puerto Rico. He obtained a bachelor's degree and two doctorate degrees in divinity and, and the humanities. Uh, he was really a major fixture in our community. Uh, his church became a sanctuary uh, to all of the Sandy survivors and, and people in need. And uh, we lost him, uh, you, know, un, you know, really a, a sad passing. He passed away due to cancer, and uh, he's deeply missed and loved in the Coney Island community. Uh, I also want to also uh, note, finally, we're uh, renaming a street in Coney Island uh, after Rosia Weish. She was a, a pillar in the Coney Island community, born in North Carolina, graduated from Boston University, uh, worked in Coney Island Hospital for a number of years. She started... Um, the first African-American senior club at the Surfside Gardens Community Center, which was a very inclusive organization. Uh, she was very active in, in our houses of worship and a resident leader at Coney Island Houses that forcefully advocated for improvements in, in our NYCHA apartments and communities. So again, uh, I appreciate uh, everyone's support in making this happen. Thank you, Chair. Okay, thank you, Councilmember Traeger and Councilmember Mealy, please. I just want to take this opportunity to um, thank the 500 Block Association who put in the co-name for Jackie Robinson, um, Jackie Robinson Way. Um, 
Jackie Robinson played for the Brooklyn Dodgers and advanced the cause of professional African-American athletes. In 1955, he helped the Dodgers reach the pinnacle of the Major League Baseball by winning the World Series. He retired in 1957 with a career battling average of .311. And in 1962, he became the first African-American to be introduced into the Bas Baseball Hall of Fame. In 1972, the Dodgers retired his name and his uniform of 42. In 1964, I don't want to tell you when I was born, he helped establish the African-American-owned Freedom Bank, and he also served on the board of the NAACP until 1967. And I just want to thank my community for bringing this forward. And um, I give really props to uh, 500 Block Association, who thought this was the proper and, and is the best thing to do. And thank you, Chair. Thank you, Councilmember Mealy. And again, we're going to leave the vote open as we await the arrival of our colleagues. Thank you.